Your company has just acquired another smaller company, and you have been appointed as the new general manager of that smaller company. You are the outsider. And on your first day in this new office, you feel like an outsider. The corridors, they're polite, but tense and un uncertain, clearly wondering what impact you're going to have on them. And in several hours' time, you will have your first town hall meeting as their new general manager. It's vital you win them over. Now it's time to be a real leader. And think of the greatest leaders in history. I'm talking warriors, presidents, philosophers, people whose names we still talk about today. If there is one thing they tend to have in common, it's that they were exceptionally skilled storytellers. Every time they spoke, they moved people. And they moved so many people so far that they literally made history. And in this video, we're going to look at three key reasons why storytelling is important for leaders. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie, the Story Habit Coach and the author of The Story Habit, How Leaders Shape Stories That Drive Action. I coach leaders to influence through storytelling, which you can learn more about at my website, shapingpaths.com. And if you find this video useful, a like and subscribe would be highly appreciated. You stand up on stage, adjust the microphone, and look out on a sea of faces. Hundreds of old employees, and you, their new leader. There is a gap between you and them. And from the moment you open your mouth, that gap will either grow bigger or fade away. What can you do to make that gap fade away and build an instant connection? You need to relate. And this is actually the starting point of any story. A story always starts with a character in a situation the audience can relate to. Because if the audience can't relate, then they can't understand it. So how do you relate to your audience? Essentially, it comes down to reflecting your audience's experiences. For example, maybe you have a story about a time you worked for a company that got acquired and can share how you felt during that time. Maybe you come from a working background that is similar to where all these people come from. Or maybe you even feel exactly the same way they feel right now. And as you tell these stories, you'll start to notice a sea of nodding heads. Nodding heads is the clearest sign that you are relating to people. So a simple tip is to start a speech by saying things that make people nod their heads. When you can relate to them, they'll feel closer to you. And this is the first reason why storytelling is important for leaders. Because good storytellers relate, and relating brings you closer to the people you are leading. So you've used stories to relate to the audience. The tension has evaporated, and you feel a bit closer to them. So now what do you do? Now you challenge them. Challenge their current way of thinking about this acquisition and present a new way of thinking about it that serves them better. The challenge is also the second part of any story. A story starts with a character in a situation the audience can relate to. And this character has their beliefs about how the world works. But an important principle about storytelling is that a story is always about change. The world surrounding the character changes, and the character's beliefs are no longer relevant. They're now living in a world they don't understand. This challenges them, and they need to change their beliefs to overcome the challenge. It's exactly the same with changing people's minds. We need to point out the flaws in their beliefs. But more importantly, we need to offer them new beliefs that will serve them better. As their new general manager, you know they believe this acquisition brings uncertainty. So challenge that. Help them believe there is certainty by showing them the plans you have. And more importantly, showing how these plans will benefit them. Give examples of what old things will stay the same and what new opportunities you can bring them. Give them a reason to be excited about this acquisition. Challenging people is as simple as giving them a better story to believe in. A story that serves them better than the one they believe in right now. And this is the second reason why storytelling is important for leaders. Because good storytellers change minds and leaders need to change minds. But 
and this is an important but, you can't challenge until you relate. It's pretty natural when trying to change people's minds to jump straight in to challenging, but people will only open their minds to you if you start by relating. So always start any persuasion attempt by relating before jumping to challenging. So you've related to the audience, and now you're giving them reasons to believe this acquisition is going to be a good thing for them. Now what? Now you want to inspire them to take action. This is also the final part of any story. The character meets a challenge, and they take action to overcome it. In the midst of this is a lesson for the audience to take away that inspires them to take action themselves. So how do you inspire your audience to take action? Well, you need to give them an action worth taking. Something easy to do that benefits everyone. As their new general manager, maybe you could invite them to a workshop to share their suggestions on how to improve the business. Maybe you could even invite them to come and speak to you one-to-one -to, -one to share their concerns and their hopes. Maybe you could even invite them to a fun team building to help everyone get to know each other. Inspiring people is as simple as giving them an action worth taking. And this is the third reason why storytelling is important for leaders. Because good storytellers inspire action. And leaders need to inspire action. So in summary, there are three main reasons why storytelling is important for leaders. It helps leaders relate to people, it helps leaders change minds, and it helps leaders inspire action. If you're interested in learning more about storytelling, then download my free Story Habit Story Guide using the link in the description below, or check out my book, The Story Habit, How Leaders Shape Stories That Drive Action, or the online course, which you can also find in the description below. I hope you found this video useful. If you could like and subscribe, that would really make my day. Thanks everyone and have a great day.